We're on the plane, 326. Uh, Darren's in my lap right now, and my wife's sitting here. We got one of these bassinet seats, but I don't think he will fit in the bassinet anymore. Usually they're like strapped to the wall, like bolted. Yeah. Uh, I got the pillow and the blanket down there and headset, but I'm not gonna use it right now. Yeah, people are still like coming in and loading, so. Standing on me. Okay. Got my wristband on, ready to go. Dan's in a good mood. <laughs> yep. waiting like a couple minutes for them to get the stroller for us. Yeah. Aaron. Uh, basically it took like 15 minutes just to park so maybe another five minutes to get out of the plane. So it's probably like 8.20 to 8.30 right now. Not bad. And then now we add two hours and it's gonna be 10.20, 10.30 right now. Probably gonna find some food after we check in the hotel, of course. Um, if you watched my first video, you saw we made a mistake and we didn't book a reservation ahead of time. So we were just laying around in the airport the whole like night it was painful 
Transit Hotel that was in Terminal 1. Korea Airport, this airport has two terminals. And since the last flight that's going back, our last flight that's going back to the US, it's we bought it from Korean Air, but it's operated by American Airlines. And they basically, American Airlines is in Terminal 1, which is the side of all international airports uh i mean airlines so um yeah there is a transit hotel on each side but they're separate same company uh but if you book for two you cannot go to one vice versa and basically now we're kind of worried um we looked at the website for terminal one because i know last time i remember looking and it was more empty but uh it said that the terminal one hotel is in renovation and it's closed so yeah we really need to find another hotel um, i i hope that they have another one available and if it's available i hope they have a room or we're screwed <laughs> yeah because it's a long way we don't fly till tomorrow like in the evening so so we took a little shuttle to concourse which is like in the middle now we're gonna take another shuttle to gate 1 to 50. our gate is like 30 something so yeah we need to be on the terminal one for sure all right hopefully we find a different hotel right now and then we need to go down and walk over here map zone this is just relax and internet <sighs> so as you can see we're screwed I tried asking the information lady and uh, you know um, it's only one hotel and it's closed for renovation. Um, yeah, we're in a relaxing, relaxed spot right now for like charging your phones. Let's see, right here. Yep, at least we have a spot for Darren and us. I'm gonna go look for some food. So, as I was saying, we were talking to the information lady, and uh, I was trying to tell her the story. So, we booked Korean Air, right? And that would be Terminal 2. I booked a hotel for Terminal 2. But the airplane, it's operated by American Airlines for some reason. So... American Airlines is in Terminal 1 with a bunch of other random international airports I never heard of. Oh, not airports. Uh, I keep saying that. airlines. Yeah, a bunch of airlines I had never heard of. The hotel in Terminal 1 is closed. So we, we can't even book a room. Um... There are like two hotels really close to this airport outside. Well, we can't leave the airport um, and come back. Unfortunately, they require a travel visa and you apply for that through what they call the a KTA. And you do that ahead of time. So we cannot do that now, even if we wanted to. So, we're just stuck here. I mean, it should be okay, I guess, for tonight. But, uh, 
yeah, we're just gonna have to lounge around the whole day till the evening. It's almost 12, but in our time, our body is still like 10 p.m. So, yeah. And I go look for some food because we ate on the airplane. You saw that meal, but it wasn't like, it was kind of early, like 4.35. And uh, definitely getting hungry now. Yep. This place does have showers in one of the restrooms, like at a gate, the lady was telling us. Gate 11. So we'll definitely check that out. Now, I looked on the map, and there is a napping spot, a room. I think it's similar to the Terminal 2. Um, but the spot where we're at right now is just large. Yeah, like large enough as, as in it's wide. Not long, but wide. So just good for Darren. Yeah, I just feel bad because my wife is still sick and and we have a baby, so if I could pay $500 to get a room for tonight, I would. <sighs> Alright, I'm probably going to go search for, for whatever's open still and grab some food. So I went back to the information desk. And, uh, you know, just to check what's open. There's three places. Um, Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, and STR Eat. And that place has no food, just beverages. Um, so we're going to check the Starbucks and then maybe Dunkin' Donuts. Because it says, like, they have hot meals at that Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, there's a Starbucks right here. Hopefully they take US dollars too. Alright. I was wondering how I can get worse. The Starbucks is closed for the next hour. It's 12 right now. So 24. <sighs> they take US dollars though. But yeah, it's just closed for the next hour. Oh my god. So, <laughs> no hotel, and so far, no food. This, this terminal sucks. There's no convenience store like the other one. I, I think the other one had a convenience store. Yeah, I mean, that was like 7-Eleven or something. All right. Where are the food places? Yeah, this doesn't tell me. There's a food court, okay. I'm guessing that's closed until tomorrow. Ah, uh, come on. This is so sad. So, my wife, she had a fever for like four out of five days. Today's fifth day, she had a fever today. She has like a virus fever, so yeah, she had some medicine, but you know, with virus, you just kind of have to ride it out. And they say it usually lasts around seven days, so tomorrow will be the sixth day on Monday. Hopefully, she'll be okay. So it just sucks that we don't have a hotel room. Let me ask the lady just to make sure if Dunkin' Donuts is the, the way I'm going. I was walking the wrong way. I have to just pass the Starbucks and keep going. Oh my God. All right. See you guys when I reach Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm at Dunkin' Donuts. It was a long walk. Looks like they have food here. Um, but, and they do take American dollars. They'll just exchange it to Korean wine. The menu keeps changing languages. That's annoying. I have to take a picture, but that's what they have. Coffee and tea. Sure. There we go. 
Yeah, we'll probably end up getting some Water? Water is much more affordable. Uh, Evian's like 1,900. It's like, I think $2 or something is what the lady was saying. And they have mineral water for their brand for like a dollar. So, yeah. I'm walking back right now from Dunkin' Donuts. I got like some snacks and four bottles of water for my wife and Darren. Oh, and there's Starbucks again. Dunkin' Donuts is literally, literally like on the other side. So I've walked a lot. So remember how I said, how can it get worse? Well, Starbucks was closed for an hour. Dunkin' Donuts was open, but their oven, they were cleaning it and said that they wouldn't serve any hot food or warm up any cold food until two hours. Oh my goodness. So that's why I got a bag of snacks. There's some Pringles, some gummy stuff, Haribo gummies, some bagel chips, I don't know. Yeah, I might go back down to Starbucks because it's almost been an hour since I heard what they said. It's crazy. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back upstairs and give the water to, to them. Maybe snack a little before I go back down to Starbucks. There's, there's no way I'm going to sleep on an empty stomach. And I'm gonna be sleeping on like hard wood. My wife and kids gonna have like the cushion, but the cushion is like kind of sinking through the uh, middle. <sighs> I'm not trying to complain, guys, but I'm just sad. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just sad. I thought we would just be in a nice, small hotel, but, you know, comfortable. I could take a hot bath tonight, sleep in a bed. Damn. All right. Let me show you the snacks real quick. I got Pringles. All these were like one or two bucks. Here's the blueberry bagel chips. Haribo. Um, filled with fruit. I don't know. And this one's interesting. Grapefruit jelly. <clears throat> Made in France. So. Yeah. Yeah. I bought all of these from the... Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. And, uh, yeah. I'll try this out. Uh, I opened the bag. It smells like grapefruit. Hmm. <laughs> this tastes like grapefruit. Yeah, it's a little sour, though. Mm. It's 119 or 11.19 our time. Uh, going downstairs to go get the Starbucks now. Uh, notice these escalators don't move, but it's automatic. If you walk through these, it turns on. Pretty cool. Saves like electricity, I guess. From just having it run all the time. You can see like only this side I'm on is it's running, the other side's not. Yeah. The map, we took a look at the map uh, pamphlet that I got. It's a lot of um, food places. So we'll definitely check it out tomorrow. It's just, they're all closed now. All right. Let's go to Starbucks. Thankfully, Starbucks is really close. Oh yeah, it's a random like super big plus right there. A lot of people are here. Right, just gonna wait in line, I guess. So this Starbucks is a little smaller than the one that we went in Terminal Two. Um, 
they didn't really have much food selection. Honestly, if Dunkin' Donuts was serving food now, I would probably get the egg muffin. But yeah, um, we got two egg sandwiches, 4,400 each. And I actually had like enough money in Korean to just pay. Uh, yeah, they gave me like a bag. Apparently you eat this cold, you don't have to eat it hot. So yeah, hopefully it's good. Usually I eat like my food warm or hot. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, better than nothing. It wasn't worth, like, filming what they had, so. I'm gonna go back up. And this is where I came down, so you can see they're both not moving. And we're just gonna walk through, and there we go. All right. I think I'm just gonna, you know, eat this and, uh, oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Uh, let me get closer to our area. There's like a nursery room with like some cool stuff. All right, so here's like the restroom. I'm gonna go later and brush my teeth and stuff. Um, there's like a nursery room right here. So we're staying right around the corner. Uh, right here, and if you go right, there's a nursery room right here. Um, uh, pretty cool. They have like hot water, and they have like a bottle, baby bottle sanitizer if you want to disinfect. It's a scale, we weighed Darren for fun. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool. It's a nice seating area and a room for nursing your baby. Um, we can't sleep here. But yeah, it's just nice to have like a sink of soap really close and hot water. Cool. All right, we're gonna eat this and uh, probably sleep. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the morning.